Welcome to Spin Gallery. We have recently moved to uh, Queen West, 1100, second floor right here. 5,000 square foot, celebrating another group exhibition called Shock and Awe. And there's four different artists, all coming from different countries. Uh, one is from El Salvador. There's artists with the drawings over there and lithograph. There's an artist named Chan Yong Park. And then there's a Brian McBurney. He didn't live in Toronto for a long time, but he's re recently returned to Toronto. There is this sculpture installation by beautiful uh, Nina Bunjevac. I went to Jerusalem and I was based there for seven years. Um, basically, I went because I wanted to experience life a bit and see the Middle East and see what the dilemma was there, I guess you could say. Three of these pictures are from sort of the West Bank from Jerusalem, uh, Ramallah, and then Bethlehem, and all during the Intifada. And the two portraits at the end are from Northern Albania, Kukes, Albania, uh, April, May of 99, when the Kosovo refugees were fleeing the Serb paramilitaries and coming across the border into Albania and Macedonia. So those people were newly arrived refugees coming into Northern Albania, into Kukes, Albania. And these, one, these three are all, this was, taken in Ramallah at the beginning of Defensive Shield, which is in April 2002 when the Israelis first went in and took over Arafat's compound. That was the first two, three days, the first weekend of that offensive. Um, that's, on, that's a classic because it's in Via Della Rosa in the old city of Jerusalem, where Christ carried the cross to the 12 stations. Uh, 좀 비극적인 원초적인 비극인데 근데 그게 또 어떤 인간의 인간 인류 역사상의 그 발전의 어떤 원동력이 됐다고 저는 생각하거든요. Uh, this body of work is all aluminum, uh, stainless and steels, uh, rough looking uh, conflicting dogs. Uh, it's talking about the violence, but actually it's not that's not the his focus. Focus is actually the uh, basic instinct of the human beings. What is the motivation behind the anger and violence? What causes it? Basically, he's been through the army. He's been uh, he's a Korean citizen living in South Korea, facing North Korea every daily life. That fear of what's going to happen next day. Basically, to Koreans to Koreans are same thing, same blood, but it's just divided into 38 degrees in North and South. Same thing as uh, the religions, and same thing as the whole world. He finds that the most conflicting is not always coming from the most direct opposite. It's all sometimes actually coming from the very similar. And that is actually not just the two different people, but it could be also uh, happening at the same person at a, one at a time. Uh, my, my work um, deals a lot with social issues and like uh, my own history, personal history, where I'm coming from, and um, my own interpretations of what's going on now, the past, literature. So it's sort of like investigating my world and sort of like making poetry out of it, like allegories about what's going on. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about your past. Uh, can you tell me about your uh, your background? Yeah, I was born in Salvador and I, I had to leave when I was a child uh, because of the war. There's a civil conflict war going on in Central America. So I moved, I lived in Mexico uh, for seven years and I got to experience the Mexican culture, like mutualism, uh, uh, literature. So um, in a way I have this background of uh, war, uh, that ang ang angst against it, and also like the Mexi Mexican heritage of visual arts. Uh, in, in this instance, I want to um, talk about war, uh, my repudiation of it, uh, my sort of, um, sort of uh, sort of a criticism of what's going on, a satirical take upon uh, conflicts and the state of the world at the moment. And I also want to, it's sort of a response, critical response and protest, protest to what's actually affecting us. You know, and I'm concerned about the future and I want to deal with realities in my work. So this is my attempt at it. Primarily, I'm a visual artist, but I make dolls um, and I combine them with found objects um, and make installations. Uh, I, I basically let 
objects come to me and then the images and um, they usually end up somewhat like this. But I, I was really I was really interested in, in, in the fact that Bayer aspirin was the maker of, of, of the, the gas in the in the uh, concentration camps in the World War during the World War II. So the first idea was to 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 use image of an aspirin as as something which is supposed to help but also kill at the same time. And that's represented by um, children who are riding these pills in several stages of madness and um, um, starting from um, loneliness and destitute to uh, a more, more severe uh, disorders. My pieces deal with, with terror of, of, of any sort, not just terrorism and is, is a terrorist versus a non-terrorist. Um, but um, it's, um, it, it really deals with who's left behind and the innocent minds behind terror and uh, children who are susceptible to believing uh, different things um, because they have been thought and, 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 and you know, it, it's, this is about, the show is really, my work is really dedicated to children who are, who are the victims of terror or who, who perpetrate terror at the same time. Um, and uh, the rest of the work deals with very similar subjects, I believe, you know, because the terror can be described in many different ways. This is the first doll show. I am primarily a painter and I did paintings primarily for years. Um, this is my first sculpture installation show and it's with Spin. And we love them!